some podcaster, and I'm bad with names. What was his name, Craig? Uh, Adam Twenty Two. No, oh, joke. no. very big podcast. Yeah. We are not here to diss <clears throat> them. We are here to discuss them. So don't go telling people we dissing people. But but from what I understand, um, he's in a situation where his wife runs shit. The reason I say his wife runs shit because she doing what the fuck she want to do. Any relationship where a woman is allowed to do what she wants to do, that is destroying the entire community. Man. There is no community that can thrive if a woman is allowed to do what she wants to do. I mean, the whole world would be makeup, Botox, and BBL. <laughs> I mean, what else do they do? I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm just saying, I want to get back on subject. Yeah, anyway, please. because she's allowed to do what she want to do, she wound up doing a scene with... A big black dick. All right, yes, yes. You got hit with a big black dick, nigga, with a big black dick. All right, we got that out. It's hard to talk about this shit. And this nigga's actual porn star. Well, but they do porn though. That's what I'm saying. He a porn star, but I don't they both do porn? Adam Twenty Two and his wife. I don't have issue with, with any of anybody doing whatever the idiots want to do with their lives. That's their life. But they have a baby. They have a little girl. What what world do you think that little girl is going to grow up into? This is on the internet. It's your dad and your mom. Having sex live on the internet. Your mom getting a train ran on her by a bunch of random men. What kind of damage, psychological damage, is waiting for that child the older she gets? <laughs> Go and ask Kim Kardashian how those little kids are sending her sex tape to a kid to bully him. They're sending the, the, the recording with her and Ray J, something she did years ago coming back to haunt her. And women that do stuff like this don't ever think that their kids are going to be the ones to take the repercussions of their actions. Look at all the Instagram mothers right now. See what's going on with their kids at school. Heard something changed in their relationship as she encountered a woolly mammoth. <laughs> a whole way. A dick -a tooth tiger. A dick -a tooth tiger. <laughs> Well, if they do porn, D. Oh, no, no, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I'll I think it what it I'll is, it this is what I think. I think mm. they did scenes together for the most part. Uh huh. Yeah. But. That's what I heard. I don't watch that shit. But some people are ridiculous. <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. yeah. But. Some people got dick, but some people are ridiculous. <laughs> some niggas are ridiculous. Ridiculous twice. into the, 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 the situation. <laughs> and. From what I understand and what I saw when I saw this clip, it caused friction. Friction. Well, thank you, Marcus. So, to talk about this, I'm not gonna hold my tongue. First of all, if you can you can you be in a productive relationship with a woman that you fuck on tape and put it out there? Can you be in a productive relationship like yeah. that? People do. That's the thing. If that's your thing, that's your thing. People do. But well, for how long, though? I don't know. Yes. You can? You, no one's saying it's going to yeah. be proper or without any, uh, you know, strife or whatever, but I'm pretty sure I'm, there are people in relationships like that. But would you prefer it? No. But, but I hear what you're saying. There are people. We, we, yeah, some people that prefer that. There's some, some people that would, can't get off until they see their partner getting rammed. They all have to speak as individuals. You know what I'm saying when we say this? So like D, when you say, would you prefer it? I'm saying like, or you, we, you we have to speak as individuals. Wouldn't, right. You wouldn't be in a relationship. Oh, no. You wouldn't get fucked on tape with your man. Purposely, what do you mean? Like, I mean, I'm saying <laughs> like for no. the public to see. No. 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 Because no. yeah. then there's nothing sacred in that relationship. Not to me. If y'all in a long distance relationship and you guys are doing that just to spice things up with you and your partner, then that's a different case. But if you're doing it just to put, put it on the internet, only fans trying to make some money, come on, bro. Nah. Nah, you have to be careful who you do that with, like your partner or whatever, sending tapes, recordings of yourself. Because during the breakup, a lesser person might go and post that. That's a very evil thing to do. If you fuck a girl on tape for the world to see, how can that be a woman that means anything to you? That's what I'm saying. I agree. Exactly, yeah. I agree. I'm, I'm just asking. Like, there may be some people. You know, home who, videos? Huh? Home videos, too? Well, well home videos private. don't that's count. Private, right? I'm talking that's about videos real. that you have put out in public. Like, yeah. there are guys who break up with girls, girls who break up with guys who put tapes out that they shouldn't have never put out. Yeah, that's the danger of Bad. having sex with somebody on tape. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, people who, like, this is our lifestyle. Yeah. We're going to fuck on tape for the world. Yeah. Wow. I just about don't third. see any real commitment in that. Yeah, I agree. Then again, to each his own, because maybe 
they are, I don't know if it's both of them, but maybe at least one of them in the relationship has to be okay with it. They in it. They so, doing it. They're okay with it. The bunch of weirdos. You're asking us. Was exposed by well. another nigga, like, even though it wasn't voluntarily? Like, oh, well, if she was out there, put, put out there on the internet, and another nigga exposed her, but it wasn't voluntary. It ain't like she was like, yeah. And what if it's older and she wasn't yeah. Well, you? Marcus, I'm glad you asked that question. Listen. That is a good one. I don't care what a bitch did before she met me. I'm that nigga. What if he exposed her while you with her because he mad that you with her? Ain't no bitch getting exposed while they with me that I'm claiming. That ain't my bitch. Right. If a bitch, if a bitch, if anything go down with a woman since I met her and we supposed to be together, mm-hmm. bitch, that's testimony against you. I can't never fuck with you, bitch. Once you start fucking with me, you supposed to straighten up and fly right with what the fuck I'm trying to do. And some people might say, Corey, that's not realistic. And I tell them, be down. Mm-hmm. Like you, you say, know. to each his own. That's true. No, but that what you true. do since the day I start fucking you, that's when your um, judgment <coughs> clock begins. Right. right. Mm-hmm. No, that's with me. Well, oh, I was, I was saying. But past do matter though. A lot past do matter. You came having fifty buddies out here. No, come on, man. Fifty bodies? Come on. Man. I ain't dealing with that. Like he got old video. Not since the, since you been fucking with. Him, I'm saying like the nigga like mad because y'all together. He's like, oh bitch, I'm gonna expose this. Well, video. it's not her fault or his. I mean, you should. I mean, put, I just, her, put, put her out there on the internet. If somebody put your girl on the internet who used to be with her, that's a punk motherfucker. Yeah. yeah I mean, why would you want to try to motherfucking destroy somebody's mm-hmm. intimacy? Yeah. That new they relationship had with you on spite. Stupid. Or looking for um a pet on the oh, back. Oh, and it doesn't help the races. I see. Say that again. I said it doesn't help the races of the people. I see. Yeah, white. Well, he's, he's a white guy, white, but and his, his but girl got hit by a brother. We talk about back about this shit now instead of this shit. His girl got hit by a person with a a big penis. She this, said this, that's what she wanted. She said a she wanted a BBC. Okay, big penis, a penis. Okay, so if your girl say that. <laughs> what does that do? That's the guy. Oh. What does that do? That's Jason Love, the porn star. How, how you know him, Margaret? <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> I've never seen the thing, man. I'm oh. fucking with you. We, first of all, everybody, we live in LA. I like porn too, though. We live in LA. We meet all the homies who do porn. Then most of them cool dudes. Yeah. Cool oh, I get what the problem is. And she dished I know a few out. porn stars. Cool she spoke about which one was better, but ooh, well. Oh, what, no. say, say it, D. What happened? That she dished out, which means she spoke out on which of the two men were better in bed. And she uh, and she admitted that she had more fun getting intimate with Jason than she does with her oh husband. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean that's. But Adam is a master manipulator. So it could be, is he? It could you, be business. Yeah. You think this is business? He, uh, no jumper is built around drama. All the dudes they got on their show, they got a bunch of cool dudes, but they all gang bangers. They all talk about all they talk about is drama. So that is just a thing. I, I mean, I watch a lot of shows where. There are some shows, I won't say their name, where it's a couple of guys and they always got a bunch of dumb young bitches on the show. Right. And they talk about the bitches. Fresh and girls fit. are just straight fresh young. Yeah. They, fresh don't, and they fit. don't know who to, they don't, right, they you, this is easy prey. I bet you won't have nobody who got some sense in the room with you no, because not. you'll look stupid. But no. what happens with a lot of these podcasts, they always get young, dumb motherfuckers in the room. Yeah. I like going up against motherfuckers with this so-called education they got in college. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because... That book smart shit don't work in the real world against me. Right. But I'm just saying, it's like back to this subject because I want this to be out there. So Crazy. even if the, even if dude did it with I've been um, on the show before. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. You've been, oh. on, you been on the show. Yeah. Me and Buka Pong went on there and murdered that motherfucker. <laughs> but it sounds like stuff that they're yeah, they had you on there with Buka Pong. Yeah. Me and Boo went on there was bagging. Yeah, you, you, him, and somebody else. Me, him, and Brent. Yeah. The dudes up there is cool. They, I believe it. They, 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 they focus on a certain demographic. You always gonna hear about rap beef. Oh, and they can. Oh, and they have, know. and they're they're um common to have threesomes. You, oh, okay, you, we'll you, see. Yeah, that's what they do. You gonna hear about who punked who, who got shot. So he's a man. He's like Adam Twenty Two. I would compare him to like a more a more scummier Howard Stern. Like okay. whatever you think Howard Stern is willing to do, he yes. goes two miles further. Wow. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if you notice, I haven't said his name because I don't know him. I'm not aware of him. Yeah. Right. He not, I'm, he's, I'm saying this. I'm glad you said he cool. I believe yeah. he cool. The subject I'm talking about is something that everybody is scared to talk about. I mean, even if they set it up, where it's because it, it gets traffic. Yeah. It's brilliant. I'm saying we talking real life here. Yeah. I think that a lot of men are afraid that if their woman steps out on them, they will find a sexual partner that you're not equivalent to, dick size wise. Yeah. People don't like to say that. It's almost like, ooh, you keep this low, you keep this low. Yeah. And the question I have is, can it 
interfere with your relationship when you lose your woman over a dick? I, I don't think I. I, I just, well, you really never have. If you lose your woman to that, then she was never your woman to begin with. I got two opinions. Huh? We said, could it wet to your relationship? Can you lose your woman over another dude's dick? Of course you can. Never Expand re- on that, as my <laughs> as my friend would say, go deeper. Well, um, not in this situation. Think you gonna go deeper, but what, right. what I'm saying is a few things. First of all, I mean, at the end of the day, it's more about excitement. Cause I don't give a fuck if you got a 12 inch dick. Eventually, if she leave for that nigga, she gonna leave him for another nigga with a 13 inch dick. So it's only going It ain't you. If you lose your woman to a nigga with a bigger dick, it ain't you. Most of these women leave because of monotony. Most of these women leave because they can't stand monotony. Their repetition. Of your days starting to blend into each other, a lot of women leave because they hate monotony, not because of no dick. For you, but it's this weird thing about being a man when our ego gets wrapped into other people's decision making. Mm. Your woman fucking another nigga is not a reflection of you as a man. It's a reflection of her as a woman. So if she's leaving, it's always a bigger dick. No point in getting too philosophical about it. It could be a reflection of the both of y'all. Dick. It's all and look, bitches leave niggas for bitches, and bitches don't have no dick. So the dick thing ain't really the argument. The right. argument is understanding as a man that it's only so far you can go before you have to relinquish it to your girl. Meaning you have to understand that she's gonna make her own decisions as a woman, and women have a tendency to get bored because most of these whole ass niggas have women thinking that we're their entertainment instead of them serving us. They feel like we the movies and Disneyland and Magic Mountain. Yep. supposed to make them happy and entertain them. So any nigga that's entertaining a bitch is gonna lose her to it. A- I always say I'm not the source of your happiness. It's not my job to make you happy. It's your job to make yourself happy. Find the source inside of you to make yourself happy. That's your job, not mine. My job is to provide and protect. It's not to be a personal jumping monkey. Nigga with a bigger dick. But Man, it's- that is fucking well put, Craig, about entertaining a bitch. Like, that shit is fucking deep what you just said, dog. Because I know, like, most motherfuckers, remember the, remember the time video with Eddie Murphy? Yeah, yeah. That bitch said, I'm bored. <laughs> Find a way to entertain me. I'll be like, bitch, put this... Dick in your mouth. <laughs> hey, have a lion fuck this bitch so the next bitch know not to talk to me like that. Face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what happened? You know that face you made. But anyway, okay, I just, I caught up on the Wait, story. Now. I mean, like, who, you, you, you want to go, Marcus? Yeah, yeah. Because I want to hear your opinion on this, too. Man, listen, man, at the end of the day, Bless you. and I know y'all going to be funny. Man, when you put that passion on the woman, yeah. 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 and they call it passion. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm you, listen, man. When you fuck her soul, Man, it's gonna be hard for a nigga to get hope to her. You Let crazy? Let put some dick in. Let me tell you something. And even if he do, it just fucking with her. You hear me? He got a like that, Marcus. Who? I'm t- this, and, and, and some, some bitches don't even like big dick. If you, if you, if we that's real shit. That some is, bitches' that preference is, is a stuff. is a medium, Mr. Uh, medium. Yeah, or a smaller. Mr. You know what I mean? <laughs> the size of somebody meat hey. don't even really matter in, in, in certain instances. You know what I'm saying? True. In certain instances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some bitches want to be rotted out though. Some bitches want. Some bitches want to be rotted out. They want to be rotted out. Yeah. They want a challenge when they fuck it. Yeah, but <laughs> they said they want a challenge. Yeah, they want a challenge. <laughs> Marcus, so you this believe crazy. that? Um, like, let's say this passion is is real. Let's just say it's real. You believe you could fuck a bitch it to is. act right? Hell no. What? Do you believe you can? Y'all are, see, it's all about the physical with y'all. See, that's what y'all understand. No, I'm asking you. Like I'm asking saying, you. You, ahead, you explain it to me. Okay, me too, I'm explain lost. fucking her mind, G. I want to know. I'm trying to, I'm listening to you. Go, Passion Pam. Listen. <laughs> it's, I know it's hard to explain because you, you know, you, 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 you put the dollars out first. You know what I'm saying? Bitches give me pussy because they like me. Be they watch how I talk, walk, and everything else. And they be like, I just want to give you some pussy. Man, I make motherfucker love me. Don't nobody I'm love you, nigga. Man, you ain't got no me. kids. I make motherfucker love the <laughs> thought oh of me. God. You hear me? I'm, I'm I tried about. to let him explain it, but nigga, let me tell you <laughs> something. When bitches that. love that's you at your control. age, but they see, get pregnant. But see, that's how much control I got. I make a bitch get rid of a kid if she get mine. Oh, you hear me? Look, look, I ain't even gotta ask that question. Do you? The fuck is he talking about? Like, go sit your ass down, bro. She come to me first. <laughs> I just wanna know if you want it. <laughs> Oh if the bitch asks you if you want it, she don't fuck with you for Listen, real. Listen, I got no. Her mind is fucked. God damn it, shit. Her Marcus, mind is fucked. Whatever you, I desire, I'll quiet. You know what I'm saying? 
You 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 tripping, homie? I'm trying to tell you, you just what hurt me, man. If you just if you were just there for some of the encounters, homie, let me tell you, you, no, you, you really you believe this. Know. At first, I thought you was joking. Mm -hmm. I'm listen, man. Marcus, let me tell you, real talk, it's switches and bitches, man. Once you hit that switch, people that always try to talk too much about what they accomplish and what they can't do, really can't do it. They really just full of crap, man. People are really all about stuff. Nah, they don't go about trying to convince other people. And they're trying to convince nobody. They just by their walks, by their fruits, you should know them. Man, that bitch do anything you want. You hear me? Okay. Listen, I'm telling you, it's like hydraulics, baby. She'll go up and down, whichever way you want her to go. You hear okay. me? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. But listen to me, homie. If you was that nigga, you would not have to say it. It is show. Exactly what I just said. By their fruits, you should know them. You don't have to say it. If you're really about it, about it, it, it just, it just show. Oh my nigga, true, true. I'm telling you, my nigga, I'm you giving you the game now. What you say? You don't be with me all the you time. Don't have, it, it Marcus, if you don't get you don't the fuck like out that. of here, hey, come on. <laughs> come on, let me tell you something. I know some motherfucking niggas. They not only say it, they show it. I done Listen, seen man. niggas had bitches out they mother. Fucking mine. I'm not talking about one bitch. I'm talking about after a while you gotta ban out of certain niggas. You be like, man, this nigga be having them hoes losing platform. it. I have never seen you in control Let of no bitch. Mark it. Do you do you really think yeah. that you could step through this world without dropping one baby talking about I'm hellified with these hoes. I'm trying what to about you. the babies, dude? Because I ain't got no baby, but nigga, I should have five. But I, you like skin. I killed four. Baby. I killed four. Oh, no. I killed four. Oh. And it's just I've been Come on the show, one uh. Miss Karen. You I, ain't never killed a baby. You ain't got I the mean, ability to kill a baby. Paid for it. I was a, I was it don't matter if you pay for it. The he bitch didn't much. want it. The bitch tracks. didn't want it. That's if true. she wanted it, she'd have had it. I don't fuck with that. If the bitch wants your baby, ain't nothing you can do to stop her. If she don't want your baby, ain't nothing you can do to stop her. You're mm. not in control yeah. of none of this shit according to the laws of the motherfucking America KKK. You, uh, you are not in control. He's got a point. He's got a major point. You might not like his tone or his delivery, but he's got some points. Some, some pretty good valid points. Right. They get a bitch to control because they know that she going to drive a car into a wall at 100 miles per hour. Yeah. That's why they give her rights over you. <laughs> you ain't never been fucking no bitch and, and, and you hit that trigger and, and you ask for something at that moment and she what says, is she talking yes, about? you can have whatever you want. And Marcus, you, you ain't never you got shit it. from a bitch. I'm looking at your chain oh, and I'm telling you, you ain't never got shit <laughs> from a bitch, nigga. Stop. She's crazy. Stop, nigga! You ain't Crazy. never worked no bitch out of nothing. Uh, Take too much more now. Eddie Murphy gave Nicole Murphy a bag to get the fuck away from him. A nigga worked all that out that bitch. All that out that bitch. A nigga like me. Worked out millions out of her, man. Stole millions out of her. Duped the hell out of her, man. Shit. <laughs> well, he's in prison. Now, this nigga had real pretty hair and all he's that shit. <laughs> he worked all that out of bitch. And trust me, that ain't the only bitch he broke. It's niggas out here motherfucking. The government hate him so much, they bend the law to get him. See, you got the humble version of me, Cole. Oh, they see, past few years, it's the humble version of me. Ain't no way been this nigga. 80 you million. You yeah, worked we we $80 oh, out of bitch. Shit. <laughs> Don't get that microphone. It's bad, okay. <laughs> I, just, I know I'm not that nigga. I'm not that nigga, but the shit I done seen some niggas do, you can't do nothing but be like, nigga, god damn. And that's what they used to do to a nigga like me. Anyway, <laughs> this ain't, this don't cost no money. I'm sorry, okay, D. No, no. One day we was outside the pool hall. You know how we be talking shit after the pool, uh, after the comedy club mm -hmm. closed? We was talking shit after the pool hall closed. Talk shit to the daylight. Mm -hmm. Sun come out, it started getting hot. My nigga, in his car, nobody knew she was in there. Bitch put her head up. <laughs> Please can we go? It's hot. I'm hungry. We was like, we was like, nigga, that bitch been in that car all that time. You know the nigga think I got that paper, nigga. That bitch ain't going nowhere till I say we leaving this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I done seen hella fine shit motherfuckers do. I am asking you, can you give me a real example of some hella fine shit you did with any bitch breathing? Please give it to me, homie. I'm looking for it. What can top what I just That's what I thought. He ain't got a motherfucking <laughs> thing. He did out of hell of five with these old. <laughs> this is what crazy.